Hey guys, Max Perez from the Jura Octopus and today we're going to start this video a little bit different because this time we need to go back in time. Not a few days, not a few months, but a few years. As you can see me here, a little bit heavier. My Camaro was a lot shinier back then. And this is back in 2020, middle of the pandemic. And this is where we created our first video. And here's that video so you guys can go ahead and uninstall your system. And I'm gonna show you a quick way to remove the radio so you don't have to remove these trim panels or or any other pieces in here this is going to be the quick way this is not the recommended way to do it but this is the way i do it. i've been i've been doing it for years you just got to be careful take your time and do it right so you don't break anything you will be doing this at your own risk if you do this so first thing you need is your prying tool and you're gonna come down here and you're gonna slide around, slide around, slide around. Okay. Once that's done, I usually like to put a, a little towel or a cloth right down here. And the reason is because you see these terminals here, they could scratch the plastic parts in the, um, in the shift box. So just be careful, pull it out, slide it to the right. You do not have to unplug anything. Just leave it just as is, just like that. The second thing you're gonna need now is gonna be your seven millimeter socket. Um, as you can see, we have two seven millimeter screws right here, one here, the second one is here. Once you have these two screws removed, you're gonna push up on your unit and put your fingers back here or use your prying tool. Right now it came out easy because I've taken it out before, but you will do is just pry it out just a little bit and pull up and towards you and it should come right out, right? Once you have that, grab the radio on both hands here and then the other one, you're gonna hold it right there. So one side, it's one hand, the other side the other hand and we're gonna pull okay once that's out be careful because as you can see it's still connected um, back here you still have a, a harness connected here so what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove that harness that's for the air conditioner just put that on the side now you can pull out your radio so the next tool you're going to need is your T15 a screwdriver and we're going to remove one, two, three, four. I already had taken these out so they're going to be pretty easy to take out, okay? But I'll just show you. We're going to take off the antenna. This is your satellite antenna. This is your FM antenna. Uh, the main harness you would push back on this little level here and it'll pop right out. And welcome back to 2024. So now we're here back in our first Camaro where we did our first installation and many installations previous to this one. Uh, but let's cut right to the chase. Uh, this car is a 2012 Camaro Transformers Edition with the rear view camera up here on the glass. I'll show you guys that in a little bit. So when basically when you shift your car on reverse, the camera will show up on the screen on top there. So I'm gonna put it back in park and I'm gonna get to work. All right, since we already did some installations on this vehicle before, I'm just gonna go over them with you guys. Um, just so you could follow along if you if you of course you might not have this in your car so we're just gonna redo them again so over here the first thing we have is our door chime is that round uh, circle and we are gonna go ahead and paste this on the inside part of the car right on the close to the 
steering wheel on the driver on the driver hand side this way all the sounds will come from the driver side sound not from anywhere else i wouldn't stick this to the radio or anything else i would just put it on the inside wall all right so next we have our gps antenna for the r2 this will be a little bit bigger i don't have one here right now in, uh, in hand, this is why I'm just gonna reinstall the one I had from before. And this one, I'm just gonna leave it inside the glove compartment. So I'm gonna just push it in right through here and then it will land right in the glove compartment. So just open the glove compartment, stick your hand through and pull the wire and you should have the GPS antenna there. So you could keep it anywhere you like. If you wanna run your wire, you could put it on the top here or anywhere you desire where you think you're gonna get the best signal for me it works right in the glove compartment so and i don't like to run too many wires so i'm just gonna leave it there for now next we have our wi-fi and the bluetooth antenna note guys if you're installing a cc 1015 r2 you do not need an antenna this uh antenna on the r2 is already built in the the antenna for the wi-fi and the bluetooth so just so you guys know so i took off the backing and the glue i glued it on right in that plastic part so it just sits still right there and it works perfect so remember now we have our wi-fi and our gps already installed and our chime speaker which is right back here that wire out so you guys can see it so we have three wires already ready to go all right so we have a microphone here i'm not gonna run a microphone plus there's another video where i'll show you guys how to run your mic in this case we're not gonna use it uh, because i will be using the onstar mic and uh again this is totally optional because the radio itself has a microphone in the front all right so now we have our two usb cables and again, I'm gonna leave this right in the glove compartment since I don't plan on using them much. I just uh, use them really when I wanna transfer files. Um, that's about it. So I'm gonna put these two wires together here and I'm just gonna run them right into the glove compartment, right through that same hole as before. So I'm gonna stick my hand in later, grab them and put them inside the glove compartment. So now we have our two USBs and uh, guys if you watch part one all of these are already connected to the back of the radio so basically since you already come with all that connection you could just run those wires and everything will be connected and you'll put it back in place in this case I took everything off just so I can show you guys again how to start from from scratch this one here is actually an adapter if i want to keep my rear view camera from onstar so whatever camera is projecting up there i'm gonna project it on the radio i am gonna be installing this so this will be towards the end of the video so stay tuned to that next we're gonna install our power am and fm antenna and that goes in the black fakra cable which right here this is a female and this is a male so all you have to do is just push them in and you're good to go. If in case your radio needs powered, uh, a powered antenna where, you know, the reception is not that great, where you want a area where the reception is no good, uh, you can go ahead and strip this off and connect it uh, to the remote on the RCA so you could get some power. You could use um, the part one as a reference so where I show you guys exactly where to connect it. Uh, this will go on the back of the radio so we're gonna put this on the side I already ran my rear view camera which contains an RCA so we're gonna put that right over here and this is for the rear view camera input and over here this is my power which I took off from the other one and we will be connecting this one to the pink wire on the uh, R2 so pink wire on the R2 when you put your car on reverse it'll send a 12 volt signal which will power your camera all right so we're gonna put that on the side 
all right so now at this point we are ready to drop in our head unit that is if you're not installing any uh, rear view cameras or if you already have your wires ran so we are ready to put that in so i'm gonna go ahead and take my main harness and plug it in next we're gonna connect our steering wheel controller that goes right there and lastly the harness with all the little wires it goes right down here this is very important if you don't connect it uh, if you don't connect this your AC is not gonna work all right so kind of everything is pretty much set this wire left over is the black and white which I highly recommend watch the video part one so you know where everything goes connected and what it does so we have our on star cables right over here so we're gonna do that connection right now and for that I'm gonna need of course my main RCA harness all right so we have our RCA harness and we're gonna plug that in right in that big slot is the biggest slot of them all so we're just gonna snap that in make sure it clicks in when you do this if you don't do this right you're not gonna get any sound or video so once that's in it should be nice and snug it should it pull out we're gonna go ahead and select the wire that says aux in l and aux in r and we're gonna plug these two together again guys if you guys want written instructions could just go to digital radio.com go to the top of the screen where it says technical support go to downloads and you will find all of our written instructions there so okay so now we have the unit this is the front and we are left with a few harnesses here which is these two blue ones they do not need to be used so we're going to put that on the side we don't need those we have here our AC connector. You could tell it's um, just because of the shape, of course. And then you have uh, two green wires, an orange and a black. And then you have your main harness. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my car. I'm gonna switch gears, put it in drive. This way I have some space to work with. I'm gonna drop it right over here. The first one I wanna connect is the AC wire. We're gonna leave the power for last. And that connects right into that. you hear it click all right so next we are going to connect our main harness to the main power and that will also click in so now that that is connected you should get power on your radio all right, so now that we have our main connections ready, we just want to see if we have power, if everything is good, then we can connect all the little wires and everything else we need to connect. So we'll let it boot up for a second. It takes about 30 seconds the first time. And there it is, it's running. We have our AC running, everything is good. Everything che checks out. So we're gonna go back, turn off the ignition and connect the rest of our wires. Right, so again guys check out the video uh, previous to this one part one this way you can know exactly which uh, wires connect uh, where all right so now we're gonna start connecting our USB ports remember guys watch part one so you know where everything goes and if you watch part one all of this should be already connected and then we're gonna connect our second USB right over here And then we need one more connection, which is the rear view camera wire adapter, which is this guy right here. Remember in the beginning of the video, we connected it here. So we're gonna plug that in. So now we have our rear view camera connected. Remember this is an aftermarket rear view camera on this car, specifically is the DOC 1013. This is a 2012 Camaro. So uh, now we're just gonna try to get that power to the camera. And um, for the R2 radios, we are need, going to need to splice the pink wire and we're gonna connect the pink wire to the red wire right over here. 
in future editions of this radio we are gonna have a splitter here uh, this way you don't have to splice all you have to do is plug them two together another option is if you have the doc 1013 you could plug it into the blue one here and that one connects to the rca harness the blue one which is the remote power that will power up your amp too if you have one all right and for this we're going to use some electrical tape i always recommend tesla tape it just looks so much better but in this situation i don't have any on hand so i'm just going to use the electrical tape for now just make sure there's no wires sticking out you know that that could touch the chassis of the car and make it short all right next we're going to connect our wi-fi antenna for you guys with the cc 1015 r2 you don't need to make this connection because the wi-fi antenna is built into the system so you won't need that and then we have our connection here for the chime doorbell and that one connects to the main harness and it will be that black and white wire with that plug here that looks like a little square and uh, i'm just gonna plug that in it goes in only one way so there you go just make sure it clicks in then we need our gps antenna which is up here All right, and then the last wire we're gonna connect is our AM FM antenna adapter, which is the one that's here with the blue wire. In my case, I'm not gonna use the power antenna, but if I did want it to use it, we'll connect it to the blue one that says amp right here on the RCA, and you could get the power from there. I don't need it right now because this car is pretty good picking up stations, so I'm just gonna plug that right in. And you could just leave this on the side so since we're not going to use it so uh, this is pretty much it so now we are ready to do some wire management and put everything back in the, i'm going to show you guys a trick so this way your radio goes in correctly so if uh, we pull this here this plastic piece here the radio should land between the plastic piece and the back piece that's there so we're going to put the radio this piece right up against the screws. If you put it in front of the of the plastic, the radio, what it's gonna do, see, if you leave it like this, it's gonna pop up on the top and we don't want that. We want it to go in between the two plastic. Again, what we wanna do is move this plastic to the front and make the radio go behind the plastic, just like that. So now this plastic is in front of our radio. And now we could drop in our radio, move it to the top and let it sit and we should be good. All right, so now that we have everything connected and running, we're gonna go ahead and put our uh, panel back here and we're gonna just put everything back together. Remember to put your screws back in. You're only gonna need two screws. So you don't need to do all the other screws. Just put those away. And we're gonna go ahead and put our plate back again and we will be done. All right, so that's everything back in place. Everything is working. Everything is beautiful. This is actually a charging plate from a uh, DOTS 1015, but I have great news for you guys and I'm gonna drop it right here. You guys gonna get the exclusive. There's a new charger, wireless charger that's coming out that we're working on right now. I'm gonna put it up on the screen and it's just gonna fit right over here. You, it's plug and play. You don't need to drill any holes or anything. It'll go right over here and then you're just gonna connect it to your cigarette lighter in the in the middle here console so that's pretty much it for this video guys i appreciate you guys as always i just left you some cool uh easter eggs of things that are coming out i'm not going to mention all of them right now but i'll catch you guys in the next video make sure to follow us at digitaloctopusradio.com you guys take care and have a good one